I would like to share with you some of the tools that I think would be beneficial for, for the um, newbies, the, the new um, editors. The first one is the plain and simple edit toolbar, which is present in any uh, editing <coughs> interface of any article. The, the, the concept here is that um, there are some there are some edits that can be made on the editing interface to add some buttons, so some buttons that should, that would be more useful in the future, such as the button that if you click on it, it gives you the layout of the article, it gives you the, 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 the line that says category, the line that says see also section, the line that says references instead of typing that manually. So that's something that we expect to see in the future with the help of you guys. It would be as usual a gadget that was that, that, that should go on by default <laughs> unless some, some some user protests which is the the sort of um, the sort of the thing that, that is in Wikipedia right now is probably um, because of because of my fault. Um, well, that's something you should see in a few coming days. The other gadget that I suggest you see you, you, you guys is the sort of quick editor. It's, it's found on the preferences. preferences page under the section gadgets in Afat. It's really useful because it simply gives you uh, a quick uh, it gives you a sort of pencil underneath the, the article which, on which you click and it gives you the, 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 the quick um, edit box. If you want to edit something minor, if you want to write something quickly, you, you, you're not in a rush, you want, quick, you want to be quick, you want to write something quick, you just press on that button, it should, it should be quicker. You write the content and you save. I think that's really beneficial, that would be better. But the most important thing I want to talk to you about is <coughs> the sort of the project I've been working on, which is a sort of bot that it would um, it would really help. The, 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 the concept is that if you want to translate, for instance, the introduction of an article in English, and the introduction is pretty much the, the, the nutshell of the, the, the article, it gives you the, the the whole um, gist of the article. If you're not translate the introduction, you have a lot of time. You can do that anytime. You just have you just need the article in English, and even if you don't have the internet, you type your translation in a word, word pad, notepad, format, and you save it for later. And you can save like the introduction of article one, the introduction of article two, and three, and so on. And whenever you have the access to the internet. You can just use the bot to upload the document and the bot will automatically post the uh, introduction and automatically create like five, six, maybe one hundred articles. And um, yeah, it would be under the name of the the bot, not the user, which doesn't have pretty much the ego thing, the thing that you, with, with, you know, having your name on next to the article you created, but you will be referenced on the, the little thing that says um, the summary of the article, that you are the person who added this, even though it's under the name of the article. So that's something that I've, I've been working on and I hope that with in the future I will get some help from anyone who's interested. Um, another thing about our Wikipedia that keeps coming on, um, like every time, is the, the lack of centralized um, pages when you can discuss <coughs> general um, things. So I propose here three pages. The first one is sort of a, a page that if anyone needs a translation of a word, the name of an article instead of going to the Facebook community page or any other page or requesting some, some user to do the translation, you can just go to the page, you post the 
English word or fresh word or whatever, and you will get help for for those who are somehow more experienced in translation, and that will save you some time. So instead of going to just looking for the translation and writing out your just post the term and you will get help. That's one page. And another page is a um, a page, a community page that. As many of you know, uh, sometimes you have like two terms in English and you don't know pretty much which is the Arabic counterpart. So this page will help, will, will help you translate each term. You post the two terms, for instance, barrister, lawyer, and such, such things. So instead of having one term in Arabic which is more heavy, you will have uh, a term for, for each. Um, for each uh, English word. So that's another page that will pop up sometime in the future. The third page is something that I'm not pretty much sure of, but I would like to hear from you guys about it. It's just a central talk page that um, if you are not registered in the website and you want to discuss some, some minor issue about an article, so instead of going to the talk page of the article, you will have a central page to discuss many things that would not that would pretty much try to solve the issue of having talk pages pretty much for nothing because a lot of talk pages in our Wikipedia are not actually talk pages just <coughs> someone was you know um, in the survey page and decided to write something like lectures or some I don't know some bad words or something so instead of having like many talk pages that are not actually talk pages you would somehow protect the, the, the top pages of, of, of the regular articles from, from being edited by non experienced user. You would have a central page so that if the user is really uh, in, intended to discuss the article, he would go to the central page. And otherwise, if it's just uh, vandalism or something, it would be better dealt with on one page instead of trying to also provide thousands of pages. The third thing and the final thing is just the distribution of the effort from Arabic Wikipedia to other Arabic sister projects. And um, that's another thing I want to hear from you guys about. But the first thing that comes in each one of them is just having <coughs> One uh, common um, CSS and G JavaScript page that would be centralized and that would um, be shared by pretty much all, all all the Arabic pages, so that if you want to edit something, uh, for instance, you have an update in the Wikimedia system that doesn't. Um, Suit the Arabic version, so instead of fixing an Arabic Wikipedia, an Arabic dictionary, an Arabic um, wiki quote, and so such, you just fix it on one, for instance, on one meta uh, page, and that will automatically go to each of the um, Arabic projects. And here I'm talking about uh, things like RGL support, right to left support, and uh, the thing that I'm like that. Another thing is, mm, I would like to know about how is it going on the Arabic dictionary. Um, it's, I, I think that it's important to have more entries in Arabic dictionary so that, for instance, if you're not writing an article about Wikipedia, instead of doing the search all over Google for thousands of pages about what's the term, what's that, what's that. You just go on Arabic dictionary, already have the translation there, so you just go and put the content on Arabic Wikipedia. So I want to hear about you guys, from you guys about this. And finally, I would like to thank you, and I'm waiting for your feedback, your responses, suggestions, ideas, anything on a talk page, on the email, and thanks so much for this.
when you talk about the symptoms, uh, can you go back and just like see? Yes, here. Uh, we have uh, Maidan, which is the village of um, Maidan. So we have, uh, uh, I mean, uh, to discuss things related to translation or um, any general discussions about any articles or any of the projects, you have the Maidan to, to go to. to. And I think uh, maybe you have to develop um, the way people have stepped through a Maidan instead of just creating new centers for these. So I have not to uh, confuse people what to go or what to discuss. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, the, the village of the, the Maidan is, is sort of, uh, as I see it, it's sort of a platform for discussion. And I've noticed um, many times that users do go to the village hall, because they do go to the Maidan, but they never end up with um, the, what they wanted. I have seen users that ask questions like, what is what does this um, mean in Arabic? And you have discussions about the meaning of the word and somehow they're not satisfied at the end because um, it turns out into an opinion um, struggle or just the um, difference between users of what's seen and what's, what's proper suits better. The idea about just the, the center or whatever you guys want to call it is just having few or, or any number of users that are actually have some experience in the field of translation to not just discuss thoroughly the term but just provide instant translations that somehow are agreed on and maybe they can modify later but first we need to give solutions to, to people um, so that's the sort of thing so maybe I don't know maybe we would have committees or just uh, 10 or 20 users that would deal with this that are actually somehow um, interested in translation or have a background of translation and you would sort of sort of like a request page <coughs> as we have and if you want to move a page and if you want to you know uh, that's the sort of thing so that, that these things are not actually a matter of discussion primarily but just matter of time, you need to save time for the users and maybe you can save the translation for later so uh, I think in, uh, maybe we would have like if somebody applies for the translation of the term they should be given an answer for like in, in maximum three days instead of having a lengthy discussion about you know pretty much Yeah, it's partly, it's partly related because there's not a lot of users. 
such an idea. Uh, now for uh, uh, the Arabic version of uh, Wiktionary, um, there's a lot of people who want to, to know um, a term in Arabic or some definitions uh, on their mobile phones. Now I have uh, an offline dictionary, I have an offline dictionary, but in all the languages I can find Wiktionary. I can download it in uh, five seconds, but it's not possible for, for Arabic. I, I just find the uh, English Arabic or uh, English French dictionary. So maybe we can. Uh, sure, it's, there's no enough content in uh, the, the Arabic version, but we can bring uh, new uh, new users by uh, offering uh, the Arabic version in uh, a lot of platforms. Android, uh, iPhone, something like that, and uh, to easily download the dictionary outside Wikipedia. So we need to think about it. So I can realize we, we can, so I can uh, download the English version, which you can uh, download there. Yeah. So how did you do, how how could you download the English? Is it like in Kiwi or something? We need, we need to contact the, the, the software programmers, a lot of uh, software programmers, and uh, ask them uh, to add uh, the Arabic version. So we need to contact them by email. So, any questions? Okay. Thank you.